Hi, and welcome to Lock Haven's A Senior Moment. I'm Mary Beth Truitt. I'm the marketing director at Lock Haven Senior Living Community in Macon, Missouri. We're glad that you joined us today. Lock Haven is actually situated just off of Highway 36 to the south, not very far. And today we're going to talk about a very important, um, I don't know what we want to call this, movement or a coalition or whatever we want to call it and it is called the Missouri Highway 36 Heritage Alliance. I'm here. I'm here at the Comfort Inn in Macon which sits at the junction of mm -hmm. Highway 36 and 63. My guest is Kelly Petrie. Uh, Kelly is the general manager of the beautiful Comfort Inn. We are so proud of the Comfort oh, Inn you. in Macon. <laughs> it wins all kinds of awards, and it's. Uh, we, we were just talking before that we wish it wasn't in Macon so that we could go and go stay in at different it places. Somewhere. Well, there are a lot of Earhart hotels I could set you up with. <laughs> that is good. We're going to remember yeah. that, Kelly, as we go. Well, Kelly also happens to be very heavily involved with the uh, Highway 36 Heritage Alliance. And we want to find out more about that today, Kelly. So okay. start by telling us how it got started and what it's all about. Okay. Uh, the Highway 36 Alliance kind of came together about six years ago with a group of individuals, really volunteers, from all along 36 between Hannibal and St. Joe. And we kind of started off with a group of goodness, I think there's probably 10 of us now that just seriously cared about tourism and how we could bring people to these smaller towns and these areas more often. So we started uh, meeting uh, once a month and, and really started some ground roots, roots operations on how to bring people here. And, and as for Macon, some of these smaller towns like us, Brookfield, Macon, Marceline, you know, how can we piggyback off of, you know, St. Joe and Hannibal? Because, you know, they have a lot of the resources that we don't necessarily have here. So it has worked really well. Um, we've done it for six years now. We have, uh, really blazed a trail, I think, for this area. So it, it's kind of exciting to, yes. to get those people yes. here. And we're, we're just hearing more and more about it. But So we are talking about 36 from St. Joe through Hannibal. Yes. And as the organization, how is it governed? I mean, when you started six years ago, did you go ahead and form it as a... We started literally as volunteers, <laughs> um, tried to, we did a strategic plan, so we kind of took those steps to, to try to make it a little more formal. We now have a 501c6, um, and so we are established, uh, we get um, membership, we have a membership meeting uh, once a year, an annual meeting, mm -hmm. um, and we have a lot of supporters, really just people throughout the communities that totally support tourism, that, um, uh, and I can talk about it a little bit later, but we now have a, uh, a brochure that we do, a, a booklet for Highway mm -hmm. 36. So a lot of those advertisers will be uh, members. And really, it's just membership-based. Right. Um, you we, are governed by a board of directors? We are governed by a board of directors. What's your position on that? Uh, for the last two years, and for another two years, actually, I'll be chair. Um, and then I have a great uh, group behind me here that just, yeah, we just really all work together. Um, for the past six years, we've had really the same the same people the past six years, which has been great. That's great. Uh, so, what is the the vision, the mission, the of of what is what's your goals? And let's let's talk a little bit about that as sure. well. Sure. Well, when we started this, really, our goal was to just bring travelers to this area, spend their money in our towns, you know, things right. like that. Um, I, I think we've kind of lost the uh, importance sometimes of how. Uh, tourism can really impact our towns. Mm -hmm. And so we just kind of took it upon ourselves to say, okay, what are we going to do? What is our vision here for this organization? You know, how are we going to kind of market it to the public to say, okay, we are important. Get off Highway 70 and come down to 36 right. and, and see what we have. So we actually started with a um, uh, 
conglomeration of themes. We kind of started with themes. So we have a military theme, and we have agriculture, and, and we've gotten into a lot of different things along the way That's that we have found out, which is really exciting. So we have interpretive themes. We've, we've selected, although we have many, we've selected about 10 different themes. Mm -hmm. And so we've just kind of started along that path um, between St. Joe and Hannibal and trying to, with our strategic plan, we started lining out exactly uh, what areas, what they had to offer. Um, something else that we really had to take into consideration too, though, is you know if a visitor is to come to this area, are they able to visit that site? So if right. you have a Civil War site, is the, is the visitor able to go and really understand that that is a Civil War right. site? And some of the smaller towns are kind of struggling with trying to, to pinpoint those locations and maybe put markers up and things like that. So the Highway 36 is trying to help those communities uh, realize maybe their strengths, what they need to do to, uh, to get those guests to kind of stay and, and learn more about that area. Um, and St. Joe, Hannibal, Marceline, uh, Chillicothe, you know, we've kind of built on that whole highway genius, mm -hmm. you know, so we've got the Pony Express, and we've got Walt Disney, and we've got uh, Mark Twain, you know, we've just got an amazing group of right. geniuses along 36. And I would just, as a matter of fact, this was going to be my next question, because we, I mean, are you looking to rename 36, or has that already, you know, because it's way of the American genius? Right. We haven't really started down that road. Right. <laughs> um, we really more just marketed the idea that it's that was idea, who we are. The yeah, the way of genius. Um, and we have started with that. We are trying to, uh, I guess, cultivate ourselves into the new age. Also, we're all about history. Mm -hmm. But we're also about the new things that are coming up, just like the quilt shop in Hamilton. Yes. You know, that's an, an inventive way of, of, you know, bringing in uh, people to this area. You know, I, we look at Lolly's the sale barn a lot. I, I tend to go to my meetings and stuff and mention that because that's the unique thing in this area. There isn't any others around. Usually I'll mention it and they'll be like, what is that? <laughs> so, you know, finding those little niches right. in each little town right. uh, really brings in a lot of fun. So we try to try to find those things like the agriculture. Um, you know, the ethanol plant is one of those things that's kind of the right. newer side of things. So right. um, we try to look at the past and we're trying to put it into the future. So, you know, you talked about <laughs> some really famous people as far as Mark Twain and, and then, of course, we know that the Pony Express is in St. Joe mm -hmm. and Jesse James is over on there. Mm -hmm. What Were there any specific, whenever, uh, as far as the genius, <laughs> any specific here in the Macon area? Well, I have um, tried to, I guess, exploit uh, Theodore Gary. Yes. And the the dial telephone. We people uh, don't really. Know they really how important they really that don't. Is. And I'll tell you, I'm going to put a plug in for those couch potato books because I have learned a lot from those couch potato books. Uh, but Theodore Geary uh, <laughs> patented. He had one of many patents to the dial telephone. But he was the first of two things. He actually was the first to put the dial telephone in each uh, household, and wow. nobody else had ever done that. He also started the first uh, highway commission yes. for MoDOT, wow. and nobody ever knew that. He was, he was known for uh, his hard surface roads. Right. So, you know, that was one thing that, yes. that I pull on. And then, of course, A.T. Still and the Blease Building. Yes. Uh, I really am, you know, I kind of get into all of that. I think it's just so it's amazing how it started, you know, with a military academy and, and how that built up. And then yes. it went into the hospital and, right. and how that's even, filled, you know, here we go, 36 and, to Kirksville. And, you know, <coughs> although the, the, the Blees building, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Lakeview Towers, mm -hmm. as it's called, and every time someone goes by them, you know, they're like, what if they're that's not amazing. from this area? What are they? They're on Highway 63, but right. still, uh -huh. because Macon is on 36, exactly. it still is definitely, exactly. it's a beautiful building. And I will say, too, our, our organization, we do, when we started this whole thing, we're like, okay, you know, Highway 36, that's what we're going to concentrate on. But we did want to pull in a lot of the communities like Kirksville and mm -hmm. Moberly and yes. a lot of those areas that have so much to offer. And, and our whole goal is just to bring guests you know, coming here right. and traveling. So we have decided, or we decided six years ago, that it would be 36 St. Joe to uh, St. Joe to Hannibal, but then it's also 36 north and south. So I see. it's it's okay, this whole so you big can block. Encompass, yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Yes. We have encompassed uh, Kirksville, Moberly, and a lot of different towns right. along the way. And of course, we can't forget Walt Disney. I don't know if oh, you mentioned no. Walt Disney yes. and, and Marceline. Marceline. And yes, we. I, I think that. Um, 
I also went on your website, which we're going to talk about a little bit sure. later, and it's a wonderful website. Thank Just you. Just really wonderful. Uh, but there was a clip on, or a, uh, maybe it was a press release that I was reading, and about a gentleman who was given the assignment to come up and to come across 36. He had no idea, first of all, mm -hmm. that Highway 36 was four lane. Yes. And, you know, for many years, mm -hmm. and I happened to be working at the time with the Chamber of Commerce and, you know, Highway uh, Interstate 70, you know, they talked about making this mm -hmm. interstate all the way across, mm -hmm. which uh, it isn't, but it is four lane, but just a great way to get across the state of Missouri in a little bit less hectic fashion. Definitely <laughs> less hectic than I-70. Than I-70. Yes, it really is. That is for sure. And it's sure. a lot more leisure. You know, we love to have, you know, all of those people stop in and, and look yes. at, you know, Walt Disney's barn and, and how you can sign your name in there. I just think that's the coolest, you know. Right. I mean, there's just so much to offer, so much yeah, to offer. So much. So what are some projects mm -hmm. that you specifically, that you're, you mentioned quilt. Mm -hmm. uh, shop. So talk about the quilt trail. Okay. The quilt trail uh, was something that uh, it was a niche market, which we kind of decided to maybe try to go after some of those niche markets. And uh, it really started out just being an idea. And uh, our St. Joe CVB, she, uh, Beth, she started kind of working on it with a lot of our quilters and trying to find the inventory of the quilt shops along the way of 36 and found, I believe there were 15. And really the quilters have kind of taken it on. Uh, this is their little project and they, they've just oh, that's thrived fun. with yes. it. Uh, but we made it kind of a contest, kind of a passport program uh, to start off with. And we, we put it out there for the public and these quilters will come in and they, they, it's just like a passport. They'll go into each quilting shop and they get a, uh, a quilt top and they get their passport uh, printed and all of this stuff. We've had, I think, four winners already. Um, so, and it goes to clear till October. So that's exciting. That I mean, is. they have just, uh, they just love it. Yes. They love it. And again, you can find that map of all the different quilt shops on the website. Yes. And uh, yes. now I don't quilt. But I, I would eat chocolate. So <laughs> oh, if, you, if you ever made a chocolate passport, <laughs> okay, okay, hey, we're program, working on it. <laughs> that would be that would we be just working on awesome. <laughs> uh, a bicycle trail. I yes. saw that as well. So that was interesting. We had a gentleman from St. Louis that had heard about our Highway 36, and he decided to explore this 36 and actually make routes so that other bicyclists can come and they know what route to go, the safest routes, the, the most beautiful routes and things like that. So he literally came up and he started uh, at one end, I believe he started at St. Joe and went to Hannibal. He stayed here and he had about four other cyclists with him and they were just wonderful people. They came from St. Louis, they, they traveled all the routes, you know, and if you go on the website and actually there's actually a, like a, uh, there's an actual bike website too that a lot of bikers mm -hmm. will understand. Um, but the Mo Highway 36, if you go on there, there are, and you probably saw that, there are different routes you can just click on uh, that you're going from Hannibal to St. Joe or just going from Hannibal to Macon even, and it'll tell you exactly what route you should go and the best route for a bicyclist. So uh, that's been wonderful. I mean, there's been a lot of publicity just yeah. with that. Are there any other ones? Did, have we missed anything? Right at the moment, no. Not as for uh, trails and things like that. We are actually looking into, I, I know uh, the Missouri Division of Tourism has been kind of looking into motorcycles. Uh -huh. I'm an avid motorcycle rider. And uh, so as for the, the quilt trail, the passport program, we would like to do something hopefully with motorcycles in the future. So we're kind of looking into that. Uh, we are looking more into maybe something with agritourism. Uh, mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of ideas out there. It's just kind of implementing them, putting right. them together. Right. It, and, and so I'm sure <clears throat> that that's your future goals. Any any future plans right now that, other than that? That's um, Other than that, just keep building our, uh, our towns up. Right now, I might mention we're getting ready to have a uh, meeting, a tourism meeting here in Macon, June 3rd, that will, uh, th we're, partnering with uh, Humanities Council, Missouri Han Humanities Council and Extension Center to help communities kind of build their area up 
and talk about, um, you know, what their niche is. So if they were to come to Macon, they might talk about, you know, what, what is it that Macon could sell themselves on right. kind of thing. So that's right. kind of exciting. That is exciting. So that's kind of what we do. We're just trying to help communities kind of build themselves up. That's and, great. And how can right. how can other, I mean, can people, I see you have a membership base. Mm -hmm. So people can become mm -hmm. members. Is this more communities, organizations? Can individuals you know, become members? You know, really anybody and everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have individuals, we have uh, partnerships with uh, just, well, just like the Comfort Inn, you know, um, and individuals. We have uh, MoDOT and Division of Tourism that are members. There is a, a voting membership that's $200, and then there is a, a supporter membership that's 50 So mm -hmm. it's pretty simple. For 50 or $200, you right. can be involved. We have an annual meeting, um, usually in October. Uh, mm -hmm. that you can come and, and we'll teach you about what, what has been going on that past year and get input from the community. How many members do you have, Kelly? We're close to, I think we're reaching between 80 and 90 right now. Right. Yes. And started out with six people. Yes, exactly. That's exactly. really... Exactly. A lot of supporters right. from 36. Want to talk about your website. Uh, mm -hmm. We've mentioned it. Go ahead and give the address. Okay. It's mo, M-O, and then highway, H-W-Y, 36.com. So mohighway36.com. That's pretty easy to remember. Yeah. And as I said, it's, um, first of all, it's easy to navigate. Mm -hmm. um, if we have anyone who is interested, whether you're new uh, to website uh, surfing, it's very, very easy to navigate. But it's so informative. I, I was really impressed. Uh, the brochure that you talked about, which, mm -hmm. I mean, first of all, just to have a brochure like that in mm -hmm. hand, but it is complete on the on the website in full color. You just turn the pages as you go on. The, it's it's very very nice, mm -hmm. and then all your uh, interactive. Uh, well, that's the interactive guide, but all your trails and everything mm -hmm. else marked. Anything else you want to say about the website? Well, the website, you know, we try to make it interactive for the people that are coming for sure, and our members, and it will show on there your bike routes and things like that. Um, it's just very informative. We are trying to get, and this is probably one of my passions, we're trying to get a lot of the stories along Highway 36. So if anybody has a story they want to tell, uh, we've heard a lot in this area about Lester Dent and right. things like that, just feel free to go on that website. You and can it'll actually give you, post them. Yes, you really can. And it's just so, it's so wonderful to be able to yes. go on there and learn about any little story that right. you, you know about. It's just exciting. I also mm -hmm. saw in there that you have an audio guide, so we do. You can either you can listen mm -hmm. to it, but you can also purchase a CD. Is this? Yes. Am I right no, on this? you're right. You're to right. To where you can start your tour in yes. in St. Joe or Hannibal because yes. it it goes either Both way. Ways, yes. And then you can listen <laughs> to it as you go mm -hmm. as you travel across 36. Yes. So I was thinking, um, we have had programs on here for especially seniors who like to do day trips oh, or yes. just short trips, but be wonderful, uh, mm -hmm. wonderful way to, to do a day trip or a two day trip. It is. You could actually start exactly. in Hannibal at Stop in Macon and stay <laughs> exactly. here at the Comfort Inn <laughs> yeah, it all and go on out. over to St. Joe <laughs> and just get in touch with Kelly. Oh, yeah. she'll, she'll we do a you. lot of trade shows with um, tour tour bus uh, associations and things like that and we give them that, that so that they can show their uh, or listen to it on their way down 36 as yes. they're on the tour bus and everything. And do, uh, let's see, I think it was Missouri Division of Tourism made us a wonderful video that is on YouTube that anybody oh, can use. It's amazing that will show you um, actual little excerpts along Highway 36. I haven't which seen is that. Very I'm going to have to yes. look that up. Yes. That's great. Anything else you want to add, Kelly, I think? Well, I just might show our Highway 36 book. That is the uh, one. This is the, this is the, the tour guide along 36. It's the first one we've ever had, and it shows little um, spotlights of the geniuses along the way and shows you different areas you need to stop and check out and kind of the stories behind some of it. So a lot of that is in here, and we're getting ready to do a new one. So we have distributed over 35,000 copies of this oh, in the Missouri wow. Welcome Centers. Wow. So this is a huge avenue for Highway 36. So we're very proud of that. You know, we travel a lot, and there's so many times that I'm traveling along a road, and you just you think, gosh, I just wish... I knew because I'm not a traveler, mm -hmm. but I wish I knew, you know, the best restaurants and the best, you sure. know, and you can go on the internet and try to get across, right. you know, all that, but that is such a wonderful, yes. wonderful resource for yes. this area. 
And more to come from Highway 36. <laughs> that is great. We'll keep plugging away. That is great. Well, we're very proud. Macon is very proud to have you doing this well, thank you. for us. And uh, we think that we have a lot to offer here Definitely. as we know a lot of the, um, the uh, cities and, and small towns along 36, especially in our viewing area. And so we wanted to let you know about this. So, you know, there might be people out there that haven't heard about it. Mm -hmm and would maybe like to get involved, get in touch with mm -hmm. Kelly. And, uh, you know, we're just very excited about that. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. And thank you for joining us, and we will see you the next time we have a Senior Moment.